welcome to another Daily Scripture and happy weekend to you. Today we're looking at Acts 17 verses 22 to 31. And where it says in verse 26, He decided beforehand which should rise and fall and when. Today's reading is taken from the Living Bible. So Paul, standing before them at Mars Hill Forum, addressed them as follows. Men of Athens, I noticed that you were very religious, but as I was out walking I saw your many altars, and one of them had an inscription on it to the unknown God. You have been worshipping him without even knowing who he was, and now I wish to tell you about him. He made the world and everything in it, and since he is Lord of heaven and earth, he doesn't live in man-made temples, and human hands can't minister to his needs, for he has no needs. He himself gives life and breath to everything, and satisfies every need there is. He created all the people of the world from one man, Adam, and scattered the nations across the face of the earth. He decided beforehand which should rise and fall, and when. He determined their boundaries. His purpose in all of this is that they should seek after God, and perhaps feel their way towards him, and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and are. As one of your own poets says, we are the sons of God. If this is true, we shouldn't think of God as an idol, made by men from gold or silver, or chipped from stone. God tolerated man's past ignorance about these things. But now he commands everyone to put away idols and worship only him. For he has set a day for justly judging the world by the man he has appointed, and he has pointed him out by bringing him back to life again. Our title for our meditation today is He Decided Beforehand. According to Paul, the rise and fall of great empires is in direct harmony with God's purpose and plans. Henry Hawley has pointed out the Old Testament is the account of a nation, the New Testament is the account of a man. The nation was founded and nurtured by God to bring man into the world. Though many cannot see it, at the moment, the day will come when the whole universe will recognise that the events of which have taken place over the long history of the Earth's ages have been ordered, directed and supervised by God, with one glorious end in view, the wooing and the winning of the bride for his eternal son. I'd like to close now with just a few thoughts for prayer. Father, thank you for your infinite wisdom and ability and that even I am a part of your plans. Thank you, Father. Amen.